Hello everyone, welcome to High School Mathematics channel. Today we are going to learn Class 7, Chapter 4, Lines and Angles, Exercise 4.4. Let us see the first sum. In the given figure, two lines P is parallel to Q and R is a transversal. If angle 3 is equal to 135 degrees, then find the remaining angles. Let us see the solution. Given angle 3 is equal to 135 degrees, angle 1 is equal to angle 3 that equals to 135 degrees. Why? Because 1 and 3 are vertically opposite angles. See next, angle 1 and angle 5 are equal. Why? Because both are corresponding angles. Therefore, angle 1 equals to angle 5 equals to 135 degrees. See next, angle 3 and angle 8 are also equal. Why? Because these both are also corresponding angles. So, angle 3 equals to angle 8 equals to 135 degrees. Next, angle 3 and angle 5 are also equal. Why? Because these both are alternate interior angles. So, angle 3 and angle 5 both are equal that equals to 135 degrees. See now, angle 1 and angle 7 both are co-exterior angles. So, some of those two exterior angles are supplementary. So, angle 1 and angle 7 is equal to 180 degrees. We know angle 1 is 135 degrees plus angle 7 that equals to 180 degrees. 135 degrees on transposing it becomes minus. So, angle 7 equal to 180 minus 135 degrees. That implies angle 7 equal to 180 minus 135 that is 45 degrees. We know angle 6 and angle 7 are equal. Why? Because these both are vertically opposite angles. So, angle 6 is equal to angle 7 that equals to 45 degrees. Next, angle 6 and angle 2 both are equal. Why? Because those both are corresponding angles. So, angle 6 and angle 2 are equal to 45 degrees. Next one, angle 4 and angle 7 are also equal. Why? Because those both are corresponding angles. Therefore, angle 4 equal to angle 7 that equals to 45 degrees. Therefore, angle 1 is 135 degrees and angle 3 is 135 degrees. Angle 2 and angle 4 are 45 degrees each. Next, angle 5 and angle 8 are 135 degrees. Angle 6 and angle 7 are 45 degrees each. See now question number 2. In the given figure, AB is parallel to CD and DE is a transversal. Find X value. Let us see the solution. Given AB is parallel to CD and DE is a transversal. Observe here, angle ABE is equal to angle CDB. Why? Because those both are corresponding angles. Angle ABE can be written as angle ABF plus angle FBE. So, we have written here instead of angle ABE, angle ABF plus angle FBE we have written. That equals to angle CDB. From the figure we can know angle ABF is 35 degrees plus angle FBE is X that equals to angle CDB is 100 degrees. Plus 35 on transposing it becomes minus 35. So X equal to 100 degrees minus 35 degrees. Therefore X equal to 100 minus 35 is 65 degrees. Therefore the X value is 65 degrees. See now question number 3. In the given figure, M is parallel to N and P is transversal. Find X and Y. Let us see the solution. Given M is parallel to N and P is a transversal. So, angle X is equal to 120 degrees. Why? Because these both are vertically opposite angles. Next x and 45 degrees plus y both are equal. Why? Because these both are corresponding angles. So we have written 45 degrees plus y equal to x. That implies 45 degrees plus y that equal to x value is 120 degrees. Plus 45 on transposing it becomes minus 45. 
So y equal to 120 degrees minus 45 degrees that implies y equal to 120 degrees minus 45 degrees is 75 degrees. Therefore x value is 120 degrees and y value is 75 degrees. See now question number 4. In the given figure AB is parallel to CD and CD is parallel to FE. Find X, Y and angle AEC. Let us see the solution. Given AB is parallel to CD and CD parallel to FE. Observe the figure. Here angle A and this angle X both are equal. Why? Because those are alternate interior angles. Therefore, angle X is equal to 20 degrees. Here also, C and angle Y both are equal. Why? Because those two are also alternate interior angles. Therefore, angle Y is equal to 33 degrees. If we observe this angle AEC, that equals to angle AEF and angle FEC. So, we have written angle AEC equal to angle AEF plus angle FEC. Next step, angle AEC equal to, angle AEF is equal to angle X plus angle FEC is equal to angle Y. Next, angle AEC equal to, angle X means we got 20 degrees plus angle Y is equal to 33 degrees. If we add both of them, we got 53 degrees. Therefore, angle AEC is equal to 53 degrees. Therefore, X equal to 20 degrees, Y equal to 33 degrees. And angle AEC is equal to 53 degrees. See now question number 5. In the given figure, a transversal T intersects two lines P and Q. Check whether P is parallel to Q or not. Let us see the solution. If co-interior angles are supplementary, then the lines are parallel. 100 degrees plus 80 degrees that equals to 180 degrees. Since Co-interior angles are supplementary. So, P and Q are parallel to each other. See now question number 6. In the given figure, if L is parallel to M, then find X, Y and Z. Let us see the solution. Given L is parallel to M and AC is a transversal, Z is equal to 40 degrees. Why? Because these both are alternate interior angles. Next, L is parallel to M and AB is a transversal. Then X plus Y plus Z equals to 180 degrees. Why? Because co-interior angles are supplementary. That implies X plus Y plus, here we have taken Z value as 40. That equals to 180 degrees. Here plus 40 on transposing it becomes minus 40. So that implies x plus y equal to 180 minus 40 that is 140 degrees. Therefore x plus y value is 140 degrees. Therefore x plus y is equal to 140 degrees. But x is equal to y. Why? Because these both are interior angles. So we are going to substitute y equal to x. Therefore x plus x equal to 140 degrees. x plus x that is 2x equal to 140 degrees. Here 2 is going to multiply. On transposing it becomes divided by. So x equal to 140 degrees by 2. 2 tables 70 times 140. So x value is 70 degrees we have written. Since x is equal to y. So x value is 70 degrees. Then y value is also 70 degrees. And z value is 40 degrees we have taken previously. Therefore, x equal to 70, y equal to 70 and z equal to 40 degrees. See now question number 7. In the given figure, P, Q, R and S are parallel lines and T is a transversal. Find x, y and z. Let us see the solution given P is parallel to Q. So, 80 degrees plus x that equals to 180 degrees. Why? Because Co-interior angles are supplementary. That implies plus 80 degrees on transposing it becomes minus 80 degrees. So x equal to 180 degrees minus 80. That implies x equal to 100 degrees. Now let us take Q is parallel to R. Then x plus y is equal to 180 degrees. Why? Because co-interior angles are supplementary. 
we know x value is equal to 100 degrees let us substitute x value 100 degrees plus y that equals to 180 degrees plus 100 on transposing it becomes minus 100 so that implies y equal to 180 degrees minus 100 degrees that is 80 degrees therefore y value is equal to 80 degrees let us take r is parallel to s then y is equal to z why because both are alternate exterior angles therefore y equal to z equal to 80 therefore x value is 100 y value is 80 degrees and z value is 80 degrees see now question number 8 in the given figure ab is parallel to cd and e is a point in between them find x plus y plus z they have given hint to draw a parallel line to ab through e so in the given figure we have drawn a parallel line through e and we named it as ef let us see the solution given ab is parallel to cd we have drawn ef is parallel to ab if we observe from the figure angle b a e is x angle a e f is p angle f e c is q and angle e c d is z next angle a e c is y now angle a e c is equal to angle a e f plus angle f e c so we have written angle a e c equal to angle a e f plus angle f e c so already we have written those values so angle a e c is y that equals to angle a e f is p plus angle f e c is q so y equals to p plus q next a b is parallel to e f and a e is a transversal next angle b a e and angle a e f is equal to 180 degrees why because co interior angles are supplementary we know angle b a e means x angle a e f means p so x plus p equal to 180 degrees that is equation 1 now see here cd is parallel to e f and e c is a transversal we have written angle f e c plus angle e c d is equal to 180 degrees why because co interior angles are supplementary we have written already angle f e c means q plus angle e c d means z that equals to 180 degrees that is equation 2 by adding equation 1 and equation 2 x plus p is equal to 180 degrees q plus z is equal to 180 degrees if you add x plus p plus q plus z that equals to 180 degrees plus 180 degrees that is 360 degrees we have already written p plus q means y so that implies x plus y plus z that equals to 360 degrees see now question number 9 identify the pair of parallel lines in the given figure and write them let us see the solution angle a and angle e is equal to 60 degrees so a l is parallel to e h see now angle b and angle d both are equal that equals to 90 degrees so b k is parallel to d i see now angle c and angle f both are equal that equals to 50 degrees so c j is parallel to f g today we have seen chapter 4 lines and angles exercise 4.4 all sums hope you are like this video if you like this video please like share to your friends and subscribe to our channel thank you for watching